In today's video, we're diving into everything you need to know about a bad throttle body. So, what's the purpose of the throttle body? In an internal combustion engine, the throttle body is a crucial part of the air intake system. Its main job is to regulate the amount of air that flows into the engine's combustion chamber, which is essential for proper engine performance. The throttle plate inside the throttle body is controlled by the gas pedal. When you press down on the gas pedal, the throttle plate opens up to let more air into the engine, helping it generate more power. To locate the throttle body, just follow the air intake tube that leads to the engine. Now that we know what the throttle body does, let's dive into the symptoms of a bad throttle body. The first symptom is the check engine light comes on. While a check engine light can signal many issues, it's often a sign that your throttle body may be going bad. The ECU continuously monitors the throttle body's performance. If it detects a problem, it triggers relevant fault codes. Here are some common OBD2 codes related to a bad throttle body. If you're not sure about what these OBD2 codes mean, you can always visit our website, obdcode.org, where we've got a full list of codes and their explanations. I'll also put a link down below if you need an OBD2 scanner, or you can head to any auto parts store and scan your car for free. The next symptom is the vehicle hesitates to move. This can happen if the motor responsible for rotating the throttle plate begins to wear out. A weaker motor results in a slower response when you press down on the gas pedal, causing hesitation in acceleration. You might notice a delay in your vehicle's response, or it may feel sluggish when trying to move. In some cases, the hesitation could also be caused by dirt or carbon buildup on the throttle plate. When the plate gets dirty, it may not open and close smoothly, leading to the throttle plate getting stuck. To get your throttle body back in good condition, you'll need a throttle body air intake cleaner. Just spray the cleaner onto the dirty spots around the throttle plate. I'll drop a link below to some of the best throttle body cleaners available. The third symptom is a rough idle. In the early stages of a failing throttle body, you might notice your vehicle shaking or vibrating when it's in a stop position, like at a traffic light. This rough idle occurs because dirt and carbon buildup around the throttle plate prevent the proper amount of air from entering the engine. As a result, the air-fuel mixture gets thrown off balance, leading to an unstable idle. This can also cause misfires since the engine isn't getting the correct air-fuel mixture, affecting combustion. The next symptom is engine stalling. If your car stalls while you're stopped at a stop sign, red light, or while parked, this could indicate a failing throttle body. When the throttle plate can't open properly, the engine may not receive the right amount of air to keep running, especially at idle when less air is needed compared to when the car is in motion. The fifth symptom is your car goes into limp mode. If the ECM detects that the throttle body is no longer functioning properly, it may trigger limp mode as a safety feature. Limp mode is designed to protect the engine and transmission from further damage. In this mode, the RPMs and speed are limited, and you'll typically be stuck in second or third gear. Limp mode allows you to get the vehicle to a safe location or repair shop, but it significantly restricts performance. The last symptom is a crank but no start. This is one of the more frustrating symptoms of a bad throttle body. You may turn the key to start your vehicle, hear the starter cranking, but the engine won't actually turn on. In some cases, this happens because the throttle plate is so dirty that it gets stuck in the closed position, preventing enough air from entering the engine. 